Well, good morning everyone. You're joining me in what is a very beautiful morning here in Windsor. Um, the thing is, we actually booked a conservatory of a guy because uh, it's all we could afford and we're actually in Windmore uh, because we didn't do our research properly. But nevertheless, we're here to talk about the up and coming events of the Royal Wedding all day with you as they happen. So we are expecting the Queen to arrive shortly. She will be um, here coming on the um, by a car uh, through a train and we will be expecting um, a plane to arrive and take out the castle and we will be expecting the Queen. And of course we're not sure if Prince Philip will be attending but we're under the assumption that she, he will be. Uh, we know he's had a spate of ill health recently and we wish him all the best. And we're gonna be here all day, essentially talking about rubbish, filling you in and trying to make it sound like we know what we're talking about. But nevertheless, we're here all day talking about rubbish and just repeating the same rubbish over and over and over and over and over and over and over again and over again and over again and uh yes over again of course now i take it over to tim who is our outside correspondent he's going to be there with members of the public interviewing the public as we speak he's there on the ground as we speak tim over to you yes are you john um it turns out we aren't expecting anything overly dramatic to be happening here today because obviously I was invited to a garden party. Turns out I'm in the wrong garden. So we do have some beautiful weather um, as you can see. It's beautifully sunny here this morning and we will be expecting plenty to happen throughout the day. Um, we don't be um, we won't be expecting it to rain and uh, yeah, it's wonderful out here, isn't it? Beautiful day, beautiful day. Um, so yeah. What is the public mood of the royal event down on the ground? Um. <laughs> so we will be expecting the queen to arrive shortly. We don't know when, we don't know who, we don't know. Uh, well, we do know who, we know it's a, a girl and a, um, an old lady in a white wig, but we don't know if, um, uh, well, it could be a, a stooge, you know, like she did in the Olympics when she came in on a parachute. I don't, we don't expect her to be doing that any time soon, but we will be expecting her to arrive and um, she will be arriving very shortly, uh, uh, leaving the palace via train or plane or car or foot, whichever way we think is necessary and um, she will be leaving the palace and heading making her way to wind uh is it is it windsor windsor walthamstow windsor 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 and and um she will be leaving for windsor so um when we are under the assumption that prince philip will be attending um we know he's had a spate of ill health recently obviously we are expecting him to make some racial slurs um, that will be coming out of the footage so if you are offended by any of the footage please look away now and as the footage comes in we will be updating you on the dress on the style of uniform and we'll be giving you some wonderful shots and interviews from the royal wedding itself and we've uh, just got news that the Queen is arriving uh, she is on her way let's take a look at that right now So Sally, what do you expect um, the wedding dress to be? Thank you, Tom. I'm standing up because my shirt's too tight for me. 
and it doesn't fit me. So we are expecting the prince to wear a suit tonight and the, the princess to wear a dress. We won't be expecting anything different. But as you know, they like to break from tradition and that we might see the groom in a dress tonight. We don't know, but we do have reports that Meghan Markle will be wearing a black dress because she's selling her soul to the devil. We don't know if that's true or not, but we do know it will be looking lovely. All right, so we are expecting the Queen to wear her traditional favorite color. It might be red, it might be white, it might be blue, it might be yellow, it might be orange, and it might be green. Or it might be purple, or it might be brown, or it might be any of the colors in between. We don't know what the Queen will be wearing. But we do know that Prince Philip will be wearing something to cover his testicles. But we don't know if it will be enough. We do know that Pippa and Kate will be attending the wedding. We don't know if they'll be going in matching outfits. I don't think they will, but you never know. They might go in a one-piece jumper that fits them both in. We don't know. We simply don't know. Of course, we are expecting lots of people to come out in the royal flag. The royal flag of um, thingy-magic. So, yeah. Um, I am not expecting anyone to be dressed up as the infamous Jack. You mean Jack, you know, because He's supposed to be a bit of a villain. Of course, we are expecting at the after party for there to be Sambuca and Mar 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 Maribu and to have a bit of vodka on the side. And, and they will be drinking. But I don't know if or when, we don't know if or when the people will be getting drunk. I expect it might have been the night before on the stag do and Harry's already coming in drunk, but we don't know. At my wedding, I got close to the magazine and I did mine naked, fully naked. And I was drunk, I was drunk the night before, and I was drunk for the wedding itself. But as we know, this is a royal wedding, protocol is a little bit different, so we are expecting something a little bit different. Now, we will be, we will be expecting the dress to be somewhat tight fitting like mine but obviously not quite as tight fitting as this because I obviously ate a bit too much and now me my shirt doesn't fit me. And now we learn about the woman who came to marry Prince Harry. <sighs> do we do we not have another dress? Another I mean another another shirt. I guess it looks like a six pack doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, I, I can't do, I can't do, um, I can't see the, the dress like this. I can't talk about a dress like this. I can't talk about a dress like this. I look like I'm, I've got six pack, or three pack. I can't. I mean, it look, it looks like I've got a little, what's this? What's this? Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Hello, welcome back. So we are... So I do like the the Queen's dress, mostly. But obviously, it's a very old dress. It wouldn't suit me. It's very vintage and it would look nice. It goes nice with the crown and it goes nice with the princess. I think the Queen actually might be out dressing. She might be out dressing the princess tonight. I don't know, but I think the queen could be out dressing the princess because obviously she's got a crown and the princess only has a tiara. But we don't know. We don't know if the queen has a princess or a tiara. So John, what is the royal protocol regarding weddings? What can we expect from this wedding and what can we expect will be happening coming out of this wedding. 
Yes, yes, yes. I, I was expecting a royal wedding today, but of course I completely forgot. And so I was woken up about 5, 5 a.m. this morning uh, with a call after last night saying, uh, Richard, you need to attend this event. And of course, here I am attending the event, but obviously I left my costume in elsewhere and I can't find it. Um, I actually ended up going out on the lash last night and I ended up spilling half my beer and a kebab down the front. So I won't be wearing that today. I am just in my regular clothes, uh, my regular daytime clothes, my scrappy clothes, my my normal clothes. I, I, I do apologize, obviously, um, for this, um, but I, I will be bringing you up to date on the Royals all day as we talk about the Royals. Now, I do expect the princess to be walking up the stairs to the cathedral by making one foot in front of the other, as that is royal protocol. We won't be expecting her to jump up once at a time, because obviously that would mean that she could trip over a rather impractical trail. Now, we will be expecting her to make a foot forward. Whether it, she puts the left foot forward or the right foot forward really depends on which foot she wants to put forward first. It's totally up to her and the royal princess. But we will be expecting her to put a foot forward. We don't know if um, she's been drinking last night. We are told there is alcohol at this ceremony and they will be drinking alcohol after the event. So it could be that she's forgotten how to walk altogether, in which case she will trip over the stairs on the steps to the palace. After that, we are expecting her to go in and get married. So what happens during the ceremony is we will be expecting her to say hello and then for them to go, you want to marry me? And then for them to get married and then hopefully we'll see some kind of snogging action. If not, we might see full intercourse. And then once they're married, we are expecting a procession through the streets of Windsor and of course we will be bringing that to you as it comes. Um, we are expecting a very long procession, we've gone along a while, um, not much is going to happen in the procession other than a few people walking out on the street to catch the action and a few horses going by. You might see a horse pooing from occasion uh, but other than that you won't see anything other than that. Now, of course, once we're done with the procession, we are expecting some kind of kiss, some kind of intercourse, or some kind of action that we can bring to you here on the BBC. We are expecting something to happen. Um, I'm up for a bit of action. You know, ooh, ooh, a bit of action, ooh, yeah. Um, so we will be bringing that to you here on the BBC. So we will, and um, hopefully get some action, some intercourse tonight, some serious, you know, anal fucking. Um, but we don't know if that's going to be here tonight or if it's going to happen over the early hours of tomorrow morning. We, we are expecting it to happen though. And obviously we've seen Meghan Markle kissing before and we've seen her, her various kisses on suits and her various relationships, both false and acted. Um, and we, we have seen plenty from Meghan Markle. Now, what I am expecting is for the royals to attend this wedding. We aren't going to have Meghan's father. Um, he won't be attending the wedding, obviously, because he's having heart surgery and he can't be asked. So, um, as a result, we are going to talk about that all day and pander him and talk about that and pander him and call him eventually and then pander him and then we're going to annoy him some more until he eventually kills himself. So we are going to talk about the royal events all day and what we will be doing is following each and every action as it comes. Of course this is the first royal wedding of a straight couple since Prince William and Catherine, um, 
simply because we know in the interim we have had plenty of gayness like that time and we are going to see a car we don't know if it's going to be a black car or a red car or a blue car but we are expecting it to have a color and have wheels um, that will bring the queen to the royal procession and she will attend the royal wedding as well of course the prince of the prince the archbishop of canterbury will be attending the wedding uh, we are expecting her um him um i don't know i can't tell she's got a beard um, he's expected to attend the wedding obviously he will be taking the service and he will be singing the song and we are told that we have elton john um, he's going to be singing a song during the service for the events of the wedding and so um, we are expecting plenty of um, action for um, for want of a better word action or uh, plenty of plenty of things to see as it happens we are seeing the guests arriving now this is inside the chapel inside Windsor Castle St George's Chapel and as you can see in the background there we have uh, the Archbishop of Canterbury, he's making his way down the aisle um, as we speak. And then we have Pippa and Fergie, obviously they will be attending the wedding along with Prince Philip, oh no that's Prince Andrew I believe, um, and God knows who they are, but they have some awesome moves. I think that was Princess Margaret, Princess Anne, Princess Cam Prince Charles, and Prince Camilla. And then we have the other ones, and that is the Queen, along with Prince Philip. And then we have Prince Harry arriving, of course, waiting for the bride to arrive for his wedding. Is anyone else really warm? Fucking hell, it's warm. Shit, it's warm. <laughs> Tip of the tongue, the teeth, and the lips. I mean, is anyone else really bored? I'm just really fucking bored. I mean, there's absolute. There's nothing to talk about, Tom. There's not. There's nothing to talk about, John. There's fucking nothing to talk about. Why are we? Do why are we doing this? We're not even here. Look, we're s we're, we're somewhere else. Welcome back. Uh, you're seeing what is now the grounds of the royal castle, and uh, uh, hopefully, you can um, take a spectator at any of the homeless people being pushed away, and we'll shortly see the carriage coming down the royal procession as it makes its royal procession down the aisle. So we will be bringing you the footage all day for everyone to see. This is the footage all day for everyone to see. Everyone to see all day. It's a royal wedding! <laughs> it's a royal wedding! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. All right. Of course, we're told that Princess Meghan has arrived. This is her dress. Sally, what do you think of the dress? Oh, I think it's, I think it's fabulous. I love the trail on it. I love the dress itself. I think I'd love to wear that on a night now. I, I think that's a, a wonderful dress. Obviously, it's a little bit impractical. Oh, and these dresses are nice too. Who are those guys? I don't know. Um, okay, so she's uh, placing the ring on the finger now. And of course, she will say the vows ever so shortly, saying the vows now. And will we get a first kiss? Um, that's the question. Um, <coughs> I'm expecting a lot of action. Will we get a first kiss? Obviously, she's smiling. She's a lot of content. She's having a great day. Will we get a first kiss? I want to see some action. Hang on a minute. That's not Harry. And... Um, Wait, 
Oh, she's kissing the wrong guy. Oh, well, that's that marriage over. Um, well, uh, that is a turn of events. Of course, now she's walking out of the cathedral, uh, ready for the procession. The procession will be coming up. Next. So now we are here at the five hours of filming. Um, we are, have been filming all day, talking about nonsense to do with Meghan Markle. And we have been here all day, worrying what to say and trying to basically make it up on the spot. Um, joining me now is Royal Correspondent um, Nicholas Witchell and his associate for the wedding dress, Sally. Um, Nicholas, what do you expect the people of Britain to do on this day? Am I done? Can I go home now? What? I'm over. Yeah, no. Um, me and Bob went out last night and... Fuck. Ugh. Oh, I got totally hammered. Oh, fucking... I know. I know. I, I know I should have been in this today. I know. I know. But, oh my god. I had a great night last night. Oh, uh, dear. Oh, um, so, yes, I'll, uh, I'm going to get some rest, I'll, I'll, I'll see you Kai, I'll leave you with the rest of the day, um, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll see you later, alright. So, um, um, that's a car, and that's, that, that I guess that's, that's a road, and then that that's there's some trees uh, over there, and um, I could have been political correspondent. I need to have been royal correspondent. And we have news: the princess has made her way out of the cathedral. She will make her way into the carriage now and she will parade around Windsor. It's funny, they look a lot like William and Kate. Anyway, so they are joined by some bridesmaids, Charlotte and George, and they are ready to set off outside the cathedral. We're ready to set off any minute now. <sighs> and um, there they are, getting in the carriage. Obviously, it's, we're not expecting it to be comfortable ride. Uh, Nicholas, uh, will this be a comfortable ride for them? Um, yeah, no, um, it will be quite uncomfortable. I'm told that those seats aren't even padded. Um, it's obviously quite an old carriage, been there since 1843. Um, we are expecting the horses as well. They might gallop off with the royal couple still inside, which is okay because the royal carriage is fitted with wings so it can fly like the famous vehicle Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Um, so they are setting off any minute now and we will see the procession. Very well, yes, we are just waiting for them to set off any minute now. And there they are, they're setting off and we'll see them take through the streets of Windsor. Let's just take a look and enjoy the footage. Welcome back to what is more of the royal footage and we're here all day talking about the royals. Talking about the royals all day for what is more royal footage of the royals. And royal footage of the royals is what we all care about. So royal footage of the royals. Of the royals of the royals. Royal footage of the royals. We're here all day talking about the royals because we're here all day talking about the royals. 
the Royals, the Royals, the Royals, the Royals, the Royals. Pippa, Charlotte, George, Meghan, Harry, William, Kate, the Queen, Prince Philip, Fergie, that other one, and the pedo. We are here all day talking about the Royals. The racist and the rude and the unlikable Royals. Fucking hate the Royals. Fucking hate the Royals. Why am I here fucking talking about the Royals? And joining me now, we have Yanni and Laurel. Uh, Yanni and Laurel are twins, um, and we have them on the phone. Yanni, Laurel, what do you think of the royal wedding? Laurel. I'm sorry, we have a breakup in the connection. Is that Yanni or Laurel? Laurel. 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 And I'm sorry, I'm sorry, we're just gonna have to break the connection there. We are not getting a clear signal. We don't know if it's Yanni or Laurel. All I hear is this. That's all I hear. That's all I hear. You've got to get with it, Tim. I mean, you got to get, you got to, you just got to do it. Wait, where's your sound, shit? Just do it properly. All right. Joining me now is a um, expert on the Royals. Um, she has followed the Royals since birth. Um, and she was actually born outside of Windsor Castle when the Queen was um, because her mum was actually a homeless person being thrown off the street. So, um, what do you think of the royal um, events today? Do you think we've had a good day? Do you feel like we have had a day sort of celebrating as Meghan Markle? Done as proud. Well, she chose a rather short and skimpy dress, and you know, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Um, that's exactly what my mother would have done. So, um, my mother was a prostitute on the streets of Windsor, and that's exactly what she would have done. Now, as for what she did during the wedding, it was I, I, I fully commend her for flipping the queen off. That was a very brave step, and she was swearing a lot during the ceremony. And eventually, she ended up kissing Prince William instead of Prince Harry. I enjoyed watching that. That was, um, that was shocking. Um, that was drama. Americans, everyone in America is going to love that. Um, we are going to be all over that, all over that, all week. So, I think we have a wonderful princess who Americans are gonna love, they're gonna respect her, we're gonna be all over this, all over the media, and we will be following. Now, I'll have to admit that I, my favorite part of the ceremony was the um, performance by Elton John. I think that was the best part, and um, I'd like to, um, I'd love to see that again. That was amazing. Um, yeah, I think that was a wonderful callback to Diana Days. Um, let's just remind ourselves again what the song was by Elton John. So, Elton John. Here.
can call another ginger ginger. Yep. <laughs> And that was a wonderful day at the royal wedding and I'm sure you enjoyed the footage of the royal wedding. <sighs> Thank you very much for watching the footage. I've been here all day. It's fucking hot in here. <sighs> it's fucking hot in here. <sighs> Thank you very much for watching the footage. Um, can we end the broadcast now? Are we done? Can we end it now? Thank you very much, guys. Uh, we'll see you next time that is a royal event. Can I get some water, please? Can I get some actually water? Can I get actually get some water? Thank you very much. We'll see you next time for what will be another royal wedding. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time. Who the hell put me on that? Who the hell put me on that? I'm not even supposed to be on these world events. I'm supposed to be doing fucking political stuff and Brexit and stuff. Who, 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 who on earth? Get Jonathan, Jonathan Pye can do it. Jonathan Pye can do it. Jonathan Pye can do it. No, I'm not. I'm not doing that again. I'm not. Who the hell put me on this? Who? Do you, was it you? It was you, wasn't it? I mean... I'm done. I'm done. I'm actually done. I mean, why? Why are you actually... Why? No, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving.